Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from Winchester and 385. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik in the Live 2 unit, keeping you updated as to what's going on across the Mid-South when it comes to winter weather in and around the area. And as of right now, we continue again to see some pretty sloppy traveling conditions across much of the area for right now. It's, again, fairly quiet across much of the area for, again, the rest of the forecast. But as of right now, I don't know if you can see too much of anything out there, a little bit on the dark side, but that is outside toward 385 in Winchester for this morning and again traffic as you can see is moving but it is kicking up a pretty decent amount of spray and a little bit of sleet and snow mixed in with that so we've got at least wet roadways and going to continue to see again the potential for a lot more snow coming up here within the course of the next couple of hours. I'm bundled up here my photojournalist for this morning Tyler Chow is getting things taken care of outside for our next live shot hit coming up here in about the course of the next 15 minutes or so We'll bring you updates on that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. I'd love to be able to take this set outside with me, but unfortunately, as of right now, very difficult to do so because of the fact that, again, don't want to get all, all the equipment wet or anything for right now. Again, for the rest of the morning, got some problems out across the area where it comes to uh, travel in the Mid-South and winter weather continues. Again, the forecast is scrolling by right here if you can't stick around for the whole thing, and time is coming up on just about quarter toward 6 o'clock at this point in time. I've got the on air feed going into my ear here so kind of halfway distracted at this point in time to keep you updated but we'll keep you advised as to what's going on let's take a look around the area for right now again seeing the germantals germantown city hall camera uh, looking back to the northwest and you can barely see anything with the rain freezing rain and sleet just coating the lens over there so we have had a decent amount of again a little bit in the way of some glazing taking place in some parts of the area with stuff again way up top on the towers are going to be glazed over first more than anything else so this is pretty typical of what we've been seeing across the mid-south for the early morning hours out there let's take a look and see what's going on with radar at this time and again taking a look at the changeover to precipitation what you're looking at is called precipitation depiction and right now again the pink indicates that mixture of sleet freezing rain and snow green and yellow indicates again the rainfall potential as we look back across portions of the area in and around uh, northern Mississippi seeing again more activity in the way of rain right around Corinth, New Albany, Guntown just north of Tupelo area and then back into around the central part of the Mid-South that pink color uh, changing over to more snow around Jackson right around I-40 at this time is where the heaviest area of activity is located so you've got a decent amount of, of precipitation different types out there and that change changeover is taking place across northern Mississippi to where we are seeing again a decent amount of some uh possible accumulations out there as well. Now one of the things we're keeping an eye on is MPing, the app that we told you about yesterday and this particular one uh, report from around Olive Branch is showing uh, ice pellets and sleet. You can participate in this and we'll show you more about how you can do that in just a little bit but two reports, one on either side of Olive Branch for this morning showing again ice pellets and sleet out there reported within about the last half an hour or so via the MPing app in northeastern parts of DeSoto County. We're also getting reports around Jackson of ice pellets and sleet. Uh, that just about 15 minutes ago, just to the north side of Jackson and north of I-40 at this time. We had a little bit more in the way of precipitation earlier, getting a little bit more in the way of rain, but now reporting a uh, report of snow and grapple around Water Valley in North Mississippi, Yalabusha County, north of Coffeyville, picking up uh, some of that precipitation changing over to snow at this point in time. And we did have a few more reports back to around Dyersburg earlier this morning, not picking up a lot of those reports at this time, but we'll continue to see more of those coming up throughout the rest of the morning out there. Tricia Wooten Sullivan, good morning from Senatobia. Thanks for checking on in. Tracy Barnes Moore and Joan Northcutt also, thank you very much for checking in for this morning. Again, this is going to be changing for a little bit for the rest of the morning as we watch the area that's coming in for right now. We've got a little bit of a lull taking place for the time being, and then back to the south and to the west, we've got a little bit more in the way of snow showers making their way into to the Mid-South and will continue to move up this direction. Rainfall chances in North Mississippi will continue to dwindle 
by just a little bit from rainfall and as you can see that color change over there we're getting again more reports of sleet and grapple and hay, uh, not hail but we are seeing some frozen precipitation and quite possibly some freezing rain in there as well. So that could be a bit of a problem out there for the rest of the morning. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on when it comes to, again, the rest of the situation out there. A winter storm warning is in effect for portions of the Mid-South as we look in and around the area of the pink-shaded counties. Again, that's the winter storm warning. Winter weather advisories in the purple, and that, again, for most of the area into and around uh, northeast Mississippi, around Oxford, back to around uh, Ripley, Mississippi into around Corinth, Tupelo. That is again going to be the lesser possibilities of anything involving major amounts of precipitation out there. It's still going to be possible. It's just not going to be quite as likely as it is in that pink shaded area with the winter storm warning in effect at this time. Uh, Peggy Freeman Campbell, Sleet in Whiteville. Thank you very much for that report there. Take a look at the temperatures across the Mid South and show you that we have again the numbers back into the mid to upper 20s to the lower 30s. That freezing line going right across West Tennessee and down across Northwest Mississippi and that's helping all that moisture change over from that rain sleet uh, freezing rain mixture to snowfall but it's going to take a while for all that to kind of make its way through and notice again back down to the south and to the east of us what the temperatures are like into south middle Tennessee lower 60s northern parts of Alabama in the lower 60s so you can very easily see where that changeover in precipitation has been taking place into and around the area. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, transportation around the Mid-South and what's going on via the Waze app, W-A-Z-E. Uh, we're getting reports of air ice on the roadways around uh, Airways Boulevard, also at I-40 eastbound, I-240 south between downtown and midtown. Uh, I-240 South as well in that area, right around the airport area, as well at 380 or at 240 in Lamar for this morning. Very close to our location here at 385 in Winchester, uh, 385 West. Ice reported there on the bridges and overpasses, and we are very close. Uh, again to this area around 385 in Winchester, and we are seeing again uh, some ice reported on that bridge right before you hit. Uh, Winchester and uh, area 385 for this morning. Arkansas into around portions of northeastern Arkansas. We're getting a decent amount of reports now showing uh, closed, not closed roadways, but covered over roadways. Ice in patches, slush, and general ice out there, and some snow being reported just outside the viewing area to the south and to the west of us. But Arkansas roadways are starting to again get a little bit worse at this time, and this via the website I Drive Arkansas. Com if you'd like to check out more about what's going on here. Checking in with Mississippi, northern Mississippi, the temperature in Lula, Mississippi is at 27 degrees. Uh, that's the air temperature. The surface temperature being registered as 25 degrees at this point in time. So we do have some very cold temperatures on some of the roadways out across portions of the Mid-South. And several of these counties right now are reporting ice on the roadways, including into and around uh, DeSoto County, Marshall, back toward Pontotoc, Union Counties, and into and around uh, Coahoma and Quitman Counties, also seeing some ice on the roadways uh, reported here. Now, so far, Again, according to what's going on, the road sensors, we're not getting too much in the way of information there, but we could see some slowdowns due to that, and that is showing up around Batesville. Got some slower roadways there, and also back around the rest stop area uh, between Hernando and Senatobia. That's from m.traffic.com. Boothill of Missouri, southeastern corner of Missouri, is also showing, again, some slowdowns taking place a uh, little bit in the way of covered roadways from St. Louis all the way down to around Zenith, uh, Kennett, and into around the junction of I-155, getting some reports of slowdowns taking place here from MDOT. Horn Lake, Snow Sleet Mix, uh, Ken Bell, thank you very much for the report on that. Uh, by Halia, Mississippi, Roy Scroggins, we'll go back to the radar coming up here in just a little bit. Sleet and lots of wind near Goodman and Getwell, thank you Mickey Ramirez for uh, that report at this time, and this is from traveler.modot.org uh, slash 
slash map. Uh, for us at News Channel 3, if you'd like to see what's going on when it comes to closings, go to WRHE.com and click on the weather-related closings bar, and you'll get an update as to what's going on out there. Alphabetized, very nice to have that going on. Numerous places closed into the rest of the morning. I got a lot more than what we had just about four to six hours ago. Bartlett City Schools are closed. City of Memphis is opening four hours late. Collierville, DeSoto County, Germantown, Lakeland, uh, let's see, Millington are closed at this point in time. The city of Memphis is opening four hours late. Shelby County schools, I should note, are closed according to this at this time. Numerous private schools are closed. Also around the rest of the area, getting a lot of reports of closed schools out there. Uh, the roadways at this time, again, nothing you want to be messing around with. They're going to be seeing sleet accumulate out there. So more potential of slick conditions out across uh, much of the Mid-South throughout the course of the rest of the day. Uh, let's take a look and see. Roy Scoggins asking about by Halia. Let's go back to that particular area and show you a little bit more about what we're looking at at this time. Again, right around Vihalia, we've got that changeover of rain to snow. Rain in green, some mixture of precipitation in pink, and you can see as that loop goes along, we change over to that all mixture of precipitation at this time. And also getting reports again of some sleet around the area, ice pellets close to Olive Branch, so I'm betting a lot of that is coming down into and around the area of Vihalia as well, as well as up into around Shelby County across much of the area of the metro there and also seeing again more chance of precipitation out across uh, much of the area there. Uh, good morning from Bartlett. Icy roads, freezing rain. Paulette Anders, thank you very much for that report. If you'd like to check in on what's going on with, again, uh, the MPing system, all you have to do is sign up for it. If you'd like to know more, I've posted more about that on my Facebook page and you can find out more information there. Let me get switched over to that so you can see what we're talking about. Here's what it looks like, again, on my Facebook page for this morning. And all you have to do is go to the MPing system from the National Severe Storms Laboratory. It's a great opportunity to get your information out. And if my page would agree with me, that would be very nice. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay, hopefully you can see that right there. And yes, you can. M ping, you can register what you're seeing on the ground. Radar is great for detecting precipitation, but to confirm what's going on on the ground, scientists could use your help. And if you download this to your phone and report what's going on, that can help accuracy of forecast and also with radar detection over the course of the next several years. So your information could help on stuff like that. So please consider downloading the MPing app and helping out on that. And that's available on my Facebook page. You can also tune in on my uh, Twitter page as well. For more information, that's twitter.com slash aonic underscore WREG3. And again, so far, that's what we're looking for for right now. Join me of Bob and Josh coming up on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio, starting at 8 to 10 a.m., coming up a little bit later on. And, of course, you can get our seven-day forecast as well in just a little bit. And I'll have your forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Oldies 102.3 and Country 92.5. Got to wrap things up. We'll be back on the air here, I'm assuming, here in just a little bit uh, to keep you updated as to what's going on uh, with what's happening in here. Photojournalist Tyler, Tyler Chow and myself working together at 385 in Winchester, bundled up here and doing all kinds of e-stuff as well. Mobile editing, it's an incredible system uh, to get things taken care of. And yes, we are parked. We are not editing while we are driving. So just in case you're wondering about that, we are safe. We do a lot of th interesting things like standing in the snow and the ice, but we do not edit and drive at the same time. We are very very professional about stuff like that. Meantime, we'll have more details coming up on News Channel 3 online throughout the rest of the day, so stick around for more on that. Sissy Samuels joining us for this morning. I'm just betting the goats are about ready to go into labor if this weather is any indication, so if that's the case, uh, good luck on that. i got to step back outside. That's what I do for a living, so I'll let you know more about what's going on here in just a little bit, so stick around for more there. Also, again, keep it tuned to social media in the red bar there, and again, our main website, wreg.com slash weather. Live and direct from 385 in Winchester, we'll have another update of weather overtime coming up a little bit later on this morning, so stick around for that. Uh, Stacy Dowdy from Summer, Tennessee, how much snow are we going to get uh, in your area? Probably not entirely too much, but could wind up with anything from a half an inch to an 
an inch and a half depending on your location and how much of that snow passes you by to the north. If you catch more of that in that area around Selmer, you're probably going to wind up catching a lot less than an inch in those particular locations. Stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the morning. Please stay safe, and if you do have to drive anywhere, allow for a lot of extra time to get to where you're going, getting much more slick conditions out there as we go throughout the rest of the morning. Stick around for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the next several hours.